Welcome to a new macro video looking for just a few minutes at the concept of frictional unemployment. So there are four main types of unemployment, uh, namely classical unemployment, seasonal, structural and this one, frictional unemployment. Well, what is it? Well, frictional unemployment is caused by people seeking a better job, uh, who spend a little bit of time maybe engaged in job search or particularly those people who are in between jobs. It typically affects people such as new entrants to the labour market, perhaps people who have just left school or college, or perhaps people returning to the labour market after a period out of work. The key point is that there is always some frictional unemployment in any modern labour market, uh, regardless of the stage of the economic cycle. Frictional unemployment can be made lower by making better information on jobs more widely available and also making job search more affordable, perhaps with cheaper transport. So examples, uh, unemployment, uh, frictional unemployment is essentially that, that occurs from the time delays in finding new work. Sometimes it's actually called search unemployment and that might affect school and college leavers. It might affect people searching for perhaps a different job in between careers. Perhaps people have retired early and then decide they need to come back to work to top up their pension. Um, or to just become more involved in, in the economy, they could be frictionally unemployed, and mothers returning to active job search after, after starting raising a family. Typically, uh, when you start looking for work, you don't necessarily get the right job straight away, perhaps in the right place, or one which matches your skills and your qualifications. So this period of searching for work is what we mean by frictional unemployment. Now, typically, Frictional unemployment is fairly short term. This chart shows the number of people in the UK, uh, quarter by quarter, who have been out of work according to how long they've been registered as unemployed. The key line for this video is the red line in the chart, which shows the number of people who have been out of work for less than six months. As you can see, there was quite a sharp increase in short term unemployment in the immediate uh, start of and aftermath of the recession in the great financial crisis of 2007-2008. So by that time, nearly 1.5 million people were unemployed for up to six months. That figure stayed pretty high for two or three years. Obviously, the recession cut the number of job vacancies, job openings that people could take. But in the last five or six years, there's been quite a significant fall in the rate of short-term unemployment, down to around 800,000 people in the labour market. Interestingly, there's actually just over 800,000 job vacancies. So frictional employment has come down quite a bit over the last five to six years. Why is it falling? Well, lots of reasons. Uh, a lot of people now search for and find work online using uh, websites and apps and things, and that reduces the search cost and the inconvenience of, of looking for work. Most people would agree that our labour market, despite its many faults, has become more flexible. There's much more opportunity now for part-time work, flexible hours, which may well suit people who are looking to make a, a re-entrance into the labour market. The government has also brought in a welfare cap, which limits the amount any one particular family can claim in, in welfare benefits in a, in a given year. And that may have changed. It might have just tweaked the decision calculus for people deciding whether or not to be active in job search in the labour market. And many employers, many businesses, many corporations are now taking steps because they see it's in their own interest as well as the right thing to do to make it easier for people perhaps to take a career break and then come back to work or to find work again after starting a family. So there's quite good reasons on the supply side why the rate of frictional unemployment should be coming down. So there we go, a quick overview on frictional unemployment. 